Welcome back to a brand new Plinko Board Budget Challenge. Today, we are gonna be building our very own mountain campsites. How does this work? You take the ball and you drop it down the board and whatever budget lands on, that's what you get. Build your campsite, tents, shelter, clothes, survival, hiking. Today's big baller, 2,500. Right next to the low baller, $10. Good luck. Hyper, you drop first. Got him. Train gang, don't fail me now. We're heading for the other side of the track. Portals. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh no! It was right on the big ball. It was ball. on the edge, bro. Let's go! I didn't get the low baller mount this time. It's finally my time to shine for the big baller mount. Activate brain power now! Whoa! Let's go! Please, 2500. <laughs> That's better than ten dollars. Whoa! No one got the big baller mount, twenty five hundred dollars. So let's see how we do. Let's go to the store. Yeah! Before we shop, here are some additional rules. Each player gets to start with only their shorts and their sneakers. So everything else you have to buy. What? So imagine this, but without this. That's your starting character. So my budget is $150, which is plenty to make a legit, working, survivable campsite. $10 is not a lot of money to spend on a mountain campsite. There's only a couple things I think I can get. This can double as my campsite and my top layer. This tent is like nine feet tall. Let's do it. Being able to make food and meals is a priority. So instead of making a fire, I'm gonna get a single burner propane stove. Guys, it's snowing and it's day two. I've got to get the rest of my snacks and then we're heading up the mountain in the snow. Yeah. Uh, can we get some skewers? Four of these and then four of the chicken. I need your help. I have $100 left to spend. I need you to find the most unique items to eat on the mountain and go. Define unique. I don't know. <laughs> we just got all our supplies and we're heading to the top of the mountain where all three of us have to build our own campsite and it's snowing. I'm a holly jolly. Copyright, you nerd. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. Girl on my shoulder. So we have made it to the top of the mountain. This is where we're gonna build our campsites and according to the rules of today's challenge, we have to start with just our pants and shoes and then you gear up with what you up. bought. Right. Let's do this. What'd you buy? Nothing. Okay guys. I got a fuzzy hat and uh, this long john daddy. Oh, my long john daddy. Gotta put these on. It's gonna be epic. Oh, that is really tight. I got a medium. I thought that would be adequate. You have to take your sweater off. Yeah. Where did you get a sweater, by the way? Oh, so you can't wear a sweater either then. I know, I know. <laughs> you said you didn't buy any of that. That's yeah. fine. You, you didn't wear that uh, shirt uh, no, you, you said I could wear no, the shirt. You no. didn't buy the shirt, did you? Where did you buy that shirt? Jays2shop.com. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a country boy. <laughs> all right, so my only shirt is this button down. I really. <laughs> That's all you bought? Yes! But I bought a blanket too! <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> I used my budget for better things. All right, so I only got three items. That's all I could afford. So take that shirt. It's time off. to get out. This not only is my shelter, but also, <laughs> also <laughs> my only clothing I get. <laughs> Oh my, and you're wearing shorts. When we started filming this, it was warm outside. Now it's snowing. I'm on the top of a mountain. And all I got to wear is this. Sure. Oh. Just think that. Mind over matter. <laughs> oh, this is so cold. All right, this will warm up in a minute. Let's go build my campsite. <laughs> I'm scouting out a spot for my campsite. So I'm not in the wide open. I don't want to be way out there. Woo! <laughs> Check this out guys. I got this blanket. It was on sale for $10. An extra little layer because it's freezing. I feel great. <laughs> well guys, I feel great. You can see the clouds like coming through the trees. We got this standard table. Let's just get our table started so you can see the rest of what I'm doing. Okay, maybe these rocks are a bad idea. Just gotta put that on there and that's pretty good. Just oh. found my campsite right here. Kind of was looking for a flat ground. There's a hole there which I am gonna be using to boil my water, cook my food. I also got a tent, so I'm about to set that up right here, this little flat zone. Got a rock behind there. The best part that I got, this is a tent. It fits seven people, but it's also a 60 second tent. So 
literally it's supposed to be able to build just like that. All right, I'm gonna have to take a break, I'm exhausted. I made it to the rocks. I think this spot right here might be the best because I got some trees I can put my shelter around and I've got this rock. Maybe it'll be nice and warm. <laughs> It does say it's great for outdoor use, which is key, because it's cold! Oh man, this is gonna be tight. Hold together. This might not hold together. Oh, hold together. Okay, check that out, guys. What? Now I put my shelter over <laughs> top. You are one sad little man, you know that? And this will keep me very warm. You think that'll keep you more warm than wearing it? Yes. Well, after minutes and minutes and minutes and Lots of time going by, I need help. So I asked Justin here to help me and I'm going out of breath. I've got Texas air up here. If I help you, you'll give me a snack? Yes. Okay. Easily. I'm done. Already? Yeah. Okay guys, so my <laughs> fingers are totally numb, but we gotta get our snacks in order. We got our table, we got our director's chair. But it's it's like pretty nice in here. Like my fingers are starting to warm up. Guys, I just got my tent set up. It took about five minutes, not bad. It's actually Bigger than I thought. I thought this was gonna be like for toddlers, but I can definitely fit in there comfortably. <laughs> yes. Although it is cold out, it's warm in here and my heat can stay circulating. I've been in my campsite for probably about 10, 15 minutes now. And I can honestly say that the only part of me that's cold are my ears and my fingers. This is probably gonna be the dumbest, craziest, dumb thing. Why am I even up here without a shirt on? Also, my only snack that I have is my ice cream, which now that I think about it, ice cream and it's freezing outside. Oh well. <laughs> oh. All right guys, we're all done building, so now let's go to our first contestant, Andrew. Let's see what he got. <laughs> Tell us your budget and what you did. I had $10, so I built this. Let me come out and I'll give you the grand tour, all right? Yeah, give us the whole spiel. So I went with, uh, the A-frame structure for right. a tent. So when you come in, you can shut the door. See that wind helps when it's going the other way. My bag that I got for purchasing these things, I can use as a seat because it's kind of wet on the ground. And then <laughs> if you get hungry, we have ice cream. Whoa, you did get a snack. What up? Welcome to the paradise on the hill. As you can see, we're going to start on the outside. We have my propane grill, which I can boil water, cook food, cook wild animals, whatever it takes to survive. Over here, you can see all my Tupperware. I got coffee right here, some food, which I'm going to be cooking, fork, and also, this is a really key ingredient. These are storm proof matches. And one extra credit item, a weapon for defending myself, for catching wild animals. If anyone comes up to me, I blast them. Let me give you an example. Hey, before you do that, I just wanna, just wanna cut to Andrew. <laughs> Do you, you think we could hurry up these tours at all? <laughs> all right, so this is called the Marksman Handheld Bow. Easy. See that tree Scott. right there? Watch that tree. What Very tree? Cool. Oh, okay. Big <laughs> hit target. It has a point tip because if an animal is coming near, like a grizzly bear, let's imagine a grizzly bear's coming, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot me. Okay, I'm just pretending. A grizzly bear's coming in. Yeah. I'm defending the camp. All right. Oh no, there's a grizzly bear. You missed, not one. I run after it. <laughs> ah, frick. Quick, shoot him. <laughs> Easy. That one. Oh! Wow. Zero practice. Head on. That grizzly bear is taken down. We're eating for days. So that sums up my tour. I'm pretty surprised and happy. Can I borrow your blanket? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Ready for like the next tour? I can use your blanket. You know what? We are a community of brethren and blankets. So I'll share <laughs> with wow. the expectation of not receiving anything back. Great, because I have nothing to return. <laughs> Unless you want to come like hang out in my house for a little while. Nah. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to first add that this whole attire is part of my budget. I had what, 500 big ones? Gives me the little fuzzies, which actually has a clip on it, which is very, very sturdy. You can put it up, you can put it down, you can carry stuff in it. Really cool. And then you can have Andrew mode if you want it. Really? So, <laughs> really cool. That's a cool hat. Can I try? <laughs> sure. I just want to like yeah, see sure. what it's like, you know? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dang. I like how he's just acquiring more and more of our stuff. I'd like to introduce you to Seth's Summit Slumber Party. Huh? It's right at the entrance. 
snacks galore, boys. Wow. <laughs> yes. And it has double-sided zippies. You've got all of your supplies. We'll be re-grilling these later, so that'll be really, really good once we start the fire. You've got your grass. Uh, fed beef sticks. You've got dark, dark chocolate covered almonds. I don't know, y'all got rice sticks, so I guess we got that. These look disgusting, but we do have them. This is a yellow dragon fruit. I've never had dragon fruit. Might be allergic, but we're gonna try them anyway. So I got these macambo beans for you. They were $25. $25 for those? Yeah, dude. Have you ever heard of these? Have you eaten them? No, look at them, dude. They're gonna help our brain power. Who knows? That jar of beans was two times more than my entire campsite budget. <laughs> I said y'all should split the budget evenly and you spent $25 of my hundred on beans? Hey, you said, you said find unique items and I found this popcorn. You guys know what's in here? No. Me neither. I but do. I kind of know, but I don't quite forgot. Ooh, sparkling lemonade, boys. Ooh, Tangerine sounds, lime flavor. That sounds cold. If your hands get cold, I stick them up in my head because my head's like full of hot air. And that looks pretty warm. Can I try? <laughs> oh! <laughs> right, I'm gonna go back to my village because I have some things that I'm gonna yeah. cook up. I have some snacks that I have to eat by myself yeah, in my, my tent. So as I already showed you guys, I have this propane camping gas stove how do you turn this on let's hope this works i only have so many matches it worked <laughs> stove here ah. so the first thing i'm gonna make some pour over coffee it's so easy literally all you need is the water and i put this on my cup right here and pour it in and boom coffee all right back home now really the only thing to do in here is to eat ice cream so Pretty good. Luckily, this ice cream is not cold. That would just be a big L. Where's that at? Just like that, the water is boiled. And I have this handy dandy tool. Check this out. And let it slowly drip through the pour over machine. Uh -huh. Ah! <laughs> so I just do this a few times, and my beverage should be ready in 30 seconds. I've left my campsite. I'm gonna go, go off into the woods. Maybe there's the off chance I can find some hand warmers or something. You have to scavenge when you're in the woods. So, you never know what you're gonna find. Either way, it's very cold out here. <laughs> oh, hand warmers, where are you? Andrew, ah! what are you doing? Uh, I'm just scavenging for stuff. I just feel so bad for you. I was wondering if you wanted some rice and chicken because it says there are two servings in here and I just hate seeing you out here like this. Oh, uh, yeah, can I come over? Yeah. Just uh, okay. Stop wandering around in the woods. Well, you just had to at least try, right? Why don't you, while I cook dinner, go in the house? All right, but here's an, another idea. How about I bring my house inside your house for two double houses? Because my house yep. is portable. I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna go get my house. Okay. What are y'all doing? What do you mean? You're making a ruckus and disturbing my peace. What are you doing? I'm making coffee and I'm also making a meal, rice and chicken for me and Andrew because Andrew is suffering. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Why don't you go back to your mansion? I had an option for you. I overheard you talking about putting his tent inside your tent. And I thought maybe you could put his tent inside your tent inside my tent. Whoa. Tentception? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Here's what's on the menu. Rice and chicken, freeze dried. All you need to do is add boiling water. And fun fact for you, this meal does not expire until March 2050. While the two stooges are doing whatever. I'm gonna get us some firewood. Wood is actually pretty dry. Dead wood. Dead wood. Also guys, I'm using my cardboard from my stretch cords as my spoon. <laughs> Hey. Oh my! Dude, there's so much in here. How here am I supposed are? to eat that with a piece of cardboard? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. This is very hot. Can I hear some chicken? Hmm. Could you survive off this? Absolutely. Hyper in his mansion. We don't need that. What? Are y'all both in that tent? Yep. What are you doing? Eating lunch. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how much space we have here. <clears throat> Oh, see, and now you let all the heat out. Great, now I'm freezing again. Well, why don't y'all just put his tent inside of your tent, inside of my tent? That is an idea. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, man. 
Yes! The hack! I'm literally on the top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere, basically. All right, I'm going inside my new house, <laughs> which is my house. <laughs> and I'm in my new house, which is my house. <laughs> my tent will go in your tent, which is already in his I wonder, tent. So your tent's really in my tent, but it's really in his tent, which is in my tent. All right, well, to start, I'm going to try these $25 Macambo beans. <laughs> you have to cook these? No. Just, just, eat, just eat them. Promise. Why would you have to cook these? Eat them. It tastes like dried up Play Doh. <laughs> They're not bad. Not bad. If these, if this is basically like a superfood though, I'd probably eat them. What else would you do with them? I don't know. Use them as fish bait. <laughs> Guys, Andrew has officially lost his mind. He has gone into hypothermia stage, uh, which means he is hallucinating and changing character. I don't know if we'd be able to survive any longer out here. Cold. It is freezing. Let us know in the comments right. whose survival campsite you like the best. Hey, and click up here to watch these other two videos if you want, and make sure to laugh, and we'll see you next time. Hi, Mom. <gasps> I'm nude.